activate. This is Living Power with Dan Hurst. Yeah. Uh, so we're taking a look at this fourth trial, which is the first legal trial that Jesus had to go through. And we're in John chapter 18, starting with verse 28. Then they led Jesus from the house of Caiaphas to the governor's headquarters. It was early morning. They themselves did not enter the governor's headquarters so that they would not be defiled but could eat the Passover. In other words, they couldn't go, they weren't going to go in because they were they were getting ready for the Passover and they would have it would have been defiled and there would have been a purification thing that they had to go through and they would have missed the Passover. So they didn't do that. They just sent Jesus in to talk to Caiaphas. So Pilate went outside to them and he said, What accusation do you bring against this man? And they answered him, If this man were not doing evil, we would not have delivered him over to you. Pilate said to them, Take it yourselves and judge him by your own law. The Jews said to him, It is not lawful for us to put anyone to death. This was to fulfill the word that Jesus had spoken to show by what kind of death he was going to die. So Pilate entered his headquarters again and called Jesus and said to him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered, Do you say this of your own accord? Or did others say it to you about me? Pilate answered, Am I a Jew? You are, your own nation and chief priests have delivered you over to me. What have, I, what have you done? Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, my servants would have been fighting that I might not be delivered over to the Jews. But my kingdom is not of this world. Then Pilate said to him, So you are a king? Jesus answered, You say that I am a king. And we, we saw it last year, or last week, last week, that with that phrasing, you say that I'm a king, is a way of saying you said it. That's, uh, yes, I'm a king. For this purpose I was born, and for this purpose I have come into the world to bear witness to the truth. Everyone who is of the truth listens to my voice. Pilate said to him, What is truth? And after he had said this, he went back outside to the Jews and told them, I find no guilt in him. Now, after three religious trials that were so corrupt and so hypocritical, uh, the Sanhedrin thought they had a case, finally, so they bring Jesus to Pilate. Pilate was not liked by the Jews. Of course, they didn't really like any Roman ruler, but Pilate was definitely not liked. I'm not even sure, based on the, 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 the connection of what we see in the history of Pilate's relationship with Rome, that he was particularly liked by Rome. He was just kind of a, an unlikable fellow. And uh, he was inconsiderate of the Jewish traditions and lifestyle. Their charges against uh, Jesus would not have been of any particular concern to him. Uh, unless those charges had affected Roman government. And that's exactly what the Jews played on. So now their approach is, yeah, we've got a charge of blasphemy, but we've got to play this against the Roman government to help the Roman government understand why this is such a dangerous man. So they go outside, and we see this passage in verses 29 through 32, uh, to have this conversation with Pilate, or Pilate goes out to have this conversation with them. And his first question to them is, what accusation do you bring against this man? Now, that was a perfectly natural thing for Pilate to say. There was, there was, uh, there was no, don't read anything into that question. He was just saying, what, what, what are the charges? What, why, what are you bringing him here for? Uh, and so just as our legal department and our system, I mean, it requires an indictment of formal charges uh, indicating what laws or, have been broken, the Roman system also required formal charges. So Pilate is following proper legal procedure here when he says, what are the charges? What law has he broken? Now, I want you to look carefully at what the, how the Jewish leaders responded. Because they don't want to deal in specifics because they know that they don't have anything. Uh, it's certainly nothing that's going to stand up in a court of Roman law. So rather than give Pilate any specifics, uh, rather than give him any specifics about what Jesus did, they answer in generalities. They say this, well, if this man weren't doing evil, we wouldn't have delivered him over to you. They didn't give him any charges. They just said, look, trust us, Pilate. If he hadn't been an evil person, we wouldn't have brought him here. In other words, Pilate, take our word that this guy is a criminal. And they're saying, you know, you know us. You, you, we wouldn't say he was a criminal if he wasn't. So take our word for it. They're not giving him any charges. It's a question that really is asked today, and should be asked today. What fault do people find in Jesus that causes them to resist him rather than serve him? In today's world, what accusation do people bring against Jesus? 
that causes them to reject him and not want to have anything to do with him. Their accusations are very, very seldom specific. On behalf of Dan Hurst and the Open Club.